Hello everyone and welcome back to the Truth Hunters Legacy. My name is Rafael and today, yes sir, today it's the last stream we're gonna be doing shite hunting before Spider-Man 2 drops on Friday. Uh, remembering that I will be streaming on Friday Spider-Man 2 with the release date on PS5. So let's enjoy today a little bit of shiny hunting before we get to that point, okay? Uh, I did not play like I pretended on yesterday, so I don't have lots of changes right now. I just played a little bit today. We might do some raids um, I, while we wait for more people to join. So without any further ado, let's get gaming. Okay, um, I'm going to do some raids for more experienced candies while we wait for more people to join here. Um, wait. I know grass is good but, uh, versus water, but... Hmm. I think I'm gonna go electric. Mm. No one's gonna be able to join right now anyways, I don't know why I did this. It was done from me. Hey! How are you doing, Dallas? Why is my shed not working properly? Jesus Christ. Sorry, man, I almost lost your message. Let me change my... the view of my shed here. My shed from the stream elements is not working. Great. Yay! How are you doing, man? No problem, yeah, uh, I can get some raids done for now, I don't have lots of Kenji. We still have some shiny Pokemons that we need to evolve. I'm good, I'm good. Yeah. A little bit tired being been having some long days at work. But hey, it's Wednesday. Next stream will be Spider-Man 2 and the Friday. No other clue how long I will be streaming on Friday. Oh probably a lot, because I'm the huge hype for that game. Uh, Alright, it's about to get dark here. I could wait in Shine Hunt for another Dusk. Cool. Oh, by the way, um, while you guys are hanging out, Right now, I know you said you're not gonna play right now, maybe after. I'm gonna teach you guys. Uh, Pokemon Company just dropped a code not so long ago, it was today, I think two hours ago. What you wanna do is go to Poke Portal, be sure you connect on the internet, go on Mystery Gift uh, via code. And you wanna type it in sweet or spicy. This code will give you a random, it says it, I think it gives you a random herba, either one sweet or one spice herba mystica. 
Uh, this code can be used until Sept September 30th, 2024. So it's almost a year that you can use. And I got a spice one. So yeah, you you can get either uh, spicy or uh, sweet one. So this code will be going on for the next 11 months. You guys have enough time to do it. Uh, let me do a picnic reset here. Oh, of course. Oh, not on this one. Oh my free lord. I just want to be sure. Yeah, no problem. Uh, Pokemon Company dropped this code just a few hours ago. So, almost no one saw this code yet. But because I create content, I need to be aware on the news. I saw that and I thought it was a good idea to bring on the channel. What the hell is this Dusku thing? Is it inside here maybe? Oh, it's inside. Ah. Okay, let's just start playing here. So one. Okay, let's make five. That's 10. Honestly, being a confined space is not a bad idea. I retrieve what I said. Because after 13, no one showed up anymore. So I need to do this. Alright. How come? I didn't defeat 60. Ah, oh, that sucks. Alright, so let's do maybe more raids, maybe more outbreaks. Ah, this is not gonna give me any good. Okay, you know what? Got dark not so long ago. Let me do a ghost sandwich. I still want to find more dust schools and I still want the lit.
tomato, onion, chured onions, and one green pepper. Oh shit! I don't have, I don't have any more red onions. Great. Uh, holy, I have five spicy. I'm gonna use one the spice one. Switch, whatever. Really well spread through the whole sandwich. There we go, we have the power ghost. Let's look for another Dusko and the Litwick. Um, I got a Dusko on the last sandwich that he did for a ghost. So, it wouldn't be bad, I still need two ones so I can get my full line in Chinese. However, I want the Litwick so goddamn badly. No, this could be technically better. Oh fuck! There's a coughing mess outbreak here. Ooh, I did not know that. I could be shiny hunting for coughing. Hmm. But that's okay. We can see what the sandwich is gonna bring. If nothing, we just reset and go for coffee. Yeah, Dusk Shine is really cool. Um, Dusk Lops as well. Dusk Noir, it's a funny one. Uh, Dusk Noir, it doesn't change as much, but I still think he looks pretty cool. It, it's like the body, instead of grayish, it becomes a sort of bluish. And honestly, it looks really really good even though it, it, it feels like it doesn't change as much it's enough to make him looking better
Uh, lit weak, on the other hand, it doesn't change much. So lit weak, all it does, it changes the color of the flame. Instead of the purple, it becomes blue. My deal with the shine lit weak is not the lit weak itself, it's chandelier. Chandelier becomes like a green and orange. It looks amazing. It's not like my favorite Pokemon. My favorite Pokemon is and probably will always be Charizard, even for shiny uh, variation. As my le my favorite legendary is Rayquaza, also normal and shiny variant. But I need to assume my the Chandelier is on my top three favorite shiny Pokemon for sure. But we need to be careful if I find a shiny Litwick. In this game, in this level, he knows Memento, so he can kill himself. I absolutely need to remember to save before I encounter him. Oh, actually, just one sec. I forgot. I should change, right? We're not trying to hunt you for Emperor's right now. Uh, I have the Dusk yet. Let me put directly Dusk Lops. Okay, there you go. Cassie! Yeah, we're gonna go for Ampharos after. I just wanna use the fact that it's evening right now and looking for the ghost that I want. Because they don't show up in any other time of the day. Even with the sandwich, they don't show up. So I need to use the evening for shiny hunting. Yeah, Ampharos looks gorgeous. After we finish this sandwich, even if I need to reset the game in case I don't find anything, it will be daylight, then we go back to Shiny Hand for Ampharos. You lost on the last stream, I got two Shiny Marips. So I actually, I have already Maripi and Fluffy. I just need one more for Ampharos. See, this little guy is one that I wanted. I really want to get a shiny chandelier. Mm. 
I'm happy that you that you're here today, Kelsey. It's been a while. I know your schedule is not being very helpful for you to participate on the <laughs> streams. Your schedule sucks right now. Yeah, that's. Uh, I I know you, you know I love you, and I gotta say your schedule, it sucks. It's like terrible. But think on the positive side, though. You're you're back to your boyfriend earlier. You start earlier, but you're back home early when you don't do overtime like you did today, of course. So at least Adam can get happy. He sees you earlier. <laughs> uh, I believe you. You know, they say... If you work on the evening shifts, you get uh, additional payment for being working too late. I think people who start early in the day, like 6 a.m. like you do, you should get uh, uh, additional pay for starting too early. Same additional. Let's fight for it, Kelsey. I'll help you. Hey, congratulations, Dallas. You got a job. Nice. Congratulations. All, the only thing I'm gonna say about this new is starting in a Friday is like, what the fuck? Who starts in a Friday? Like, why the company cannot say, yay, you wanna hire you? You start Monday because, like, fuck it. <laughs> Friday is not a day to start. <laughs> Except I can stay up late on the evenings with her. Yeah, that's, that's fair. See, that's why you're missing the streams, because you you sleep by 8 p.m. Yeah, you know, you have a really good point. It would be better if you work like 8 to 4, like a normal fucking person. And then you can enjoy more time with him later. Yeah, I think we should talk about this, man. Like, <laughs> honestly, I'm very happy for you, but I, I cannot hide how awkward I'm feeling that they ask you to start on a Friday. Like, right before the way, you're gonna start and then have two days off, unless you work weekends. That's something that we need to know before we make jokes. If you if you're gonna work weekends. That's understandable, because then it's not going to be your day off anyways. But if you're starting on a Friday and then you're going to get two days off, that's just silly. No, Dallas, let, let, let me ask you something. Eh? 
You're not playing right now. Can you please give him back my fucking shiny luck? You know, uh, you know, I gave, I gave it to you on Monday. You got set in seven shinies during the stream. Happy for you, but you're not playing right now. Give the fuck back. Let me find some shinies while you're not playing, man. Come on. Gee. <sighs> very, very good. Oh, by the way, after this sandwich, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna put it uh, as a comment on this stream. I think I need to know how to do it. I never did it before, but I know I can pin the comment on top with the code to get a Herba Miska. So anyone who comes to the stream after sees the code. No shines for me.
Hmm. I hate when I see the Dusk when he's vanishing. It confuses me the color. I can't see properly the gray, so I think I keep thinking, oh, is that a shiny? But no, it is not. I'm starting to think I have problems with this mountain. This music is so calm and makes me sleepy. Nothing in this end, nothing in this end.
kind of months, almost 20 mi 25 minutes already, no shiny. It's a ghost Pokemon. Let's pretend we are taking a nap. Like maybe he shows up. He wants to be scary. It would be so funny if he show up right after I do this. Only four minutes remaining. No, I don't want to see coughing. Yeah, lost coffee. Nobody loves you. Really? Really? I don't need this. shiny it's just not something that we wanted so the whole freaking sandwich I couldn't find any of the two options that I had and when it's getting clear and the ghost is the one show up anymore. I got a shiny Mimikyu. Fuck! So I wasted two herbs for Mimikyu that I don't even need. Well, someone's gonna get a Mimikyu. Cause I'm gonna give this to you, Shaq. Because I don't need nor I don't want it. Yeah, like I saw for 25 minutes only Duskus and and Litwick. I wanted both. And what I get is a fucking Mimikyu. Why? It's a shine that I have already. Well, this will be donated to Shaq, so... Whoever wants the Mimikyu, just let me know and it's yours.
I thought about resetting so I don't lose my two herbas. But hey, I'm here for giving content to you guys, right? Making you guys laugh. See me catching a second Mimikyu two streams in a row is content. Feel free to laugh off my face. Now, if anyone in chat wants the Mimikyu, then I will reset. I don't know if Dallas is still here to let me know if he wants or not. Kelsey, do you want a shiny Mimikyu? Uh, I'm donating shiny, sh uh, one shiny Mimikyu right now. Okay, you guys have like five minutes to let me know. If no one claims the Mimikyu, I'll reset the game. Starting now, let's go. I need to see what time was it before I say it. Oh, I know he's the worst, but a shine is a shine, right? The Mimikyu can be good if you give him a good hold item because of these guys. So these guys allows you to take one hit without receiving any damage. So if, if you make him with a good moveset and a good hold item, he can be good. I'm not saying he is fantastic. But he can be kind of good. Alright, the sandwich is up. Uh, let me do the pinning comments and comments that I said. By the end, I will reset the game if there's no claiming for the Mimikyu. Okay, let me just find out how do I pin my comment. I think I need to make the comment first. Let me check here. Alright, uh, how do I ping my own comment? Oh, okay, right here, ping message. There you go, right on top now, you guys should be able to see which code to use on Mystery Gift and get yourself a free Herba Mythica in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Okay. I am not upset that no one claimed the, the Mimikyu, so I can actually reset my game and don't waste two herbs. But I still gonna be sure to mark here, he was the last one that we found it. Now, one, one interesting thing before I do it. Let me see if he's marked. Because the other one that I found, it did not have a mark. Hmm. 
Let me compare. Okay, he does not have a mark, so yeah, it literally does not worth keeping it. Neither this one. Okay, no claiming. Thanks God, let's reset this. <laughs> let's get back my two herbs that I <laughs> wasted on this shit. Okay, uh, we had no luck with the Dusku. Let's go back to Ampharos. As soon as I find here, there we go. Huh. I know it's showing us evening, but I'm pretty sure the last time I tried to do this, it became daylight too fast. I'm not gonna risk, I'm going for the Mary. Okay, hey, one tomato, one onion, one green, and two yellow. Let's use one spice, one sour. I thought that onion was gonna fail. There you go, sparking electric and encounter electric. No rip, here we go. By the way, Shad, one thing that I never told you guys about it, these Pokemon that has the glowing that when you encounter and it, they terror on the beginning of the fight, they can be shiny, okay? The only thing, they are not affected by the sandwiches. 
they are considered static encounters. So even if you do a sandwich for that type, it's not gonna increase the odds that he will be shiny. Shiny sandwich does not count for any static encounter. I need to be careful with this type of counters that they show up all the way down there. In order to lose a shiny is very very fast. I actually missed the shiny similar ways on my violet before. I saw the shiny despawning, I was very upset. Let's see if this coin gives us some luck.
I don't think yeah, near this area is just Jigglypuffs, Jigglypuffs and uh, Dash Bells, right? Near the Olive Tournament here. So waste of time coming here with electric sandwich. Holy shit, you woke up at 4.30? Yikes, that's disgusting. That's okay, Sadie. Thank you very much for at least showing up, sending a message. I always enjoy when my friends come here. You know, you guys are showing the support and that makes me very happy. You... You should go to sleep. <laughs> I do agree with you. And don't worry, if I find the Maripi, I will evolve to Ampharos and I'll take a really nice picture and show it to you tomorrow. Okay? Thank you very much, Kelsey, for coming today. Have yourself a fantastic night and please sleep. Okay? Don't, don't need to be awake just because of me. So enjoy a very good night of sleep. You're probably waking up 4.30 a.m. tomorrow again. So yeah, that's a big yikes. But I see you tomorrow at work. And thank you for the good luck. Oh, there we go, there we go, right before you leave. <laughs> Shine my reap. There it is, there it is. A nice pinky and gorgeous ship. And right away.
<laughs> Thanks, Dallas. Yay. Sheep. Uh, let's use the rest of this sandwich. And then we go. You know what? I know that. Uh, I need to be quick on this. Where can I find Shinx that doesn't have lots of what's the name? Pommy. Because I don't want another palm. Oh fuck! The only way that the only area that I can find Shinx, I can actually find the palm as well. I don't need palmy, but I want the the Shinx. I was about to say I need, I technically don't need the Shinx. I have Shinx on my Pokemon Go that I could just bring here. But hey, finding my own would be a lot better. I don't need for sure Pommy, but well. And as I say, I see a huge pack of Shinx on my right side. Yeah, sorry. Uh... Huge pack of uh, palmies, not Shinx. Shinx is the one I want. Yeah, 16 minutes. Uh, I'll see how many Shinks I can see here versus how many Palmies. I could go to the other forest that I showed how to shine hand for Dratini. My only problem there doesn't show Shinks. It's either Luxury or I forgot the name of the middle. the name of the middle evolution between Shinx and Luxray? Uh, shit, why I can't remember? Luxio. That's why, because it remembers Luxray. Looks you. So yeah, on on that force that I was thinking, it's only looks you and looks rain. But I want the Shinx. I need the Shinx. Okay, from up there, I thought it was a shiny. What the heck happened with the music? It suddenly stopped and came back.
No, I like this area. There's a good amount of Shinx here, so let's just stay in this part.
Okay, we have a little bit over seven minutes left. Okay, sounds good, man. You start to think what you want to shine hunt so we know which type of sandwich we need. I still have plenty of Pokemons of every single type to shine hunt, so we can choose together which type of sandwich we're thinking. I see you online. I see you, I see you. Seriously? We've been seeing so many Pokemon just one shiny in the sandwich.
two minutes. Well, Monday we figure out that two minutes is more than enough to find two shinies. That's what happened with the Marip. It was on the last 30 seconds of Sandwich. And it was a double shiny. That was a nice one to see. Never saw a double shiny in this game before. Oh, you got a spicy. Nice. Yeah, I. Yeah, mine was also a spice. Ooh, nice. Yeah, salties are freaking hard to get in this game. You need to do so many raids that can give herba and it's still salty, it's such a minimum chance. I think that's why, because the hardest one, that's why if you use two salties, you only need one of the ingredients on what you're hunting for. So for example, we use the yellow bell pepper for the electric type. Plus tomato, plus the normal onion, and two green, pe uh, green bell pepper, right? Salties are so rare that if you use two salties and one yellow bell pepper, you will still get a level 3 sparkling and encounter power electric. That's how good the salt is. Nice, you got almost one of each. Cool. That means you can help me with some herbs. <laughs> I was gonna play yesterday, but I didn't. So I didn't get herbs. I didn't get EXP candies. That's on me. Yeah, sandwich is over. I only got to play a little bit today before streaming. Uh, okay. Are you market? That's the question. No, you are not. Well, none of the Marips are market. Let's see if the few ones that I got is enough to get the Ampharos. Oh, yeah. One large candy is fluffy. I'm not teaching anything right now. You know, it's change after. Once you get more herbs, but kept to getting people who don't understand how <laughs> to raid. <laughs> yeah, man. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> I was pressing B and I stopped the evolution. Uh, sorry, that was stupidity for me. Which is okay, I was gonna need more herbs anyways. Or more candies anyways. Yeah, man, it's... It, it's tough sometimes, you know. Unfortunately, unfortunately, I know very well how frustrating it is sometimes where you, you're trying to do well so you, you expect that the people who are going online know what they're doing and as soon as the rate, the rate starts you figure out like nope, they, they don't have a fucking clue on what they're doing. Mew, uh, that depends. Uh, because Mew learns absolutely everything, it's up to you if you wanna do a uh, attacker or a special attacker Mew. Also, if you wanna do uh, a healer Mew or 
you know, like that, you can do with Mew, you can do pretty much anything you want. So you can act as a healer, or you can act as um, an attacker. If you go for attacker, then you can also decide: do you, are you going for a special attacker or a physical attacker? My meal is uh, my meal. I built, I built him as a physical attacker. Yes, yeah, so my Mew, I built as a physical attacker. Wait, struggle bug, uh, g give me a second. Let, let me just confirm one thing here. I do have a few of the uh, acid spray is special, pounce is not the one I'm using. Special. I think mine is a special attacker. If I find the other move that I use on him, I'll be able to tell best. Okay, so you like as an attacker. Now you need to decide if you want him as a special attacker or as a physical attacker. And then... Okay, so... That's an... Mm. Yeah, that's an odd movie set to be honest. Because... Power... Ancient power... Well, Dragon Pulse is special. Right, let, let me confirm. Because I think Mirai don't could learn. Remember movies. Uh, Dragon Pulse is special. I think Close Combat is physical. I'm not sure about Ancient, ancient Power. I have one Pokemon who knows. Where are you, man? You need to know ancient power to evolve. Where the fuck are you? Right here. No, that's double hit. Uh... Right here. A ancient power. Um, Because I think ancient power is physical, but I could be wrong. No, it's a special, actually. Yes. So, see. Um, okay, so Dragon Pose and... Ancient Power, they are both they are both really good moves, but they are both special. Close combat is physical. So it's it's hard to tell you which EV to go for. Because you have two different types of moves. You should have either fully special attacks or fully physical attacks. Then attack is what you're gonna go for the highest EV. If you go, let's say you have Dragon Pulse and Ancient Power, and you choose a different move instead of close combat that will also be special. So you wanna go for a special attack max EV, which you can see by pressing L on your controller. See the, the graphic there? Let me see what I have trained here. Um, uh, my Team Lu, I believe, is trained. Okay, how do you know if it's physical or special? Uh, give me one second and I'll show you properly. Uh, my Team Lu is not. Yeah, because all, all my uh, my EV trains Pokemon, I think they are mostly on my other game. It's important. Some, someone here needs to be... There you go. So my Luxray. My Luxray, it's an attacker. And it's because of this... Uh, 
This charge is special, so that's the only one I should change. But Spark and Volt Switch, they are both physical. So you see this graph, like the the clear line. So you have the darker green stuff, and then you have the clear green. The clear green are the EVs. I have a lot more EVs in attack instead of special attack because he's a physical. How do you know if your Pokemon is physical or not? Luckily, in this game, oh, he has a rebound. I did not know that. I forgot that I used him on my team. Okay, every Pokemon can be physical or special. Ideally, what you want to do first is check his normal graph. Okay, so this one, this is the normal graphic. Your normal graph will always have either attack or special attack higher. Don't consider the red arrow or the blue arrow. So, what, what this things means? This looks ray, it's where it is. Bro, what the heck are you? Because I don't remember. Up in attack, down in speed, that's not adamant. It, it could be adamant. Wait. So when you have... No, adamant is special. It lowers special attack. So for example, um, looks like I could use adamant mint. What this means, I am giving here I'm giving him a boost in attack and decrease his special attack. What you want to do with your Pokemon is always try to go to increase either attack or special attack on base, based on the base stats. So let's get the Seedwai for example. If you check the Seedwai and we go for base stats, his attack it's higher than his special attack which means he's a physical how do you know your attacks when you go on the attack yeah let me see this these are all physical because i made him physical uh let's remember moves uh tell me you have at least one special there you go you do okay uh, I don't know how to make on stream how to show a block. I never did it before. But if you look there, okay. So your meal attack is better than special attacks. So you want to make him physical. Adamant will be your best bet. Use an adamant mint, so increase his attack and drop his special attack and change his attacks to be physical. Then you train his EVs for attack. How do you actually know? Let me see how to do this. Uh, well, I don't know how to actually just mark on the stream. So, see you have right there remember moves so you have u-turn selected and it tells what the move says below it after making its attack the user rushes back to switch place with a party pokemon in waiting below you have accuracy power and category that symbol that looks like an explosion it's a physical attack if you see this symbol which is three circles together like one inside the other that's a special attack because your meal has attack better than special attack you want to give him a second boost in attack so making him adamant and you want to erase every single move he has that has this three circles together and then you want to go and give them the moves that has the explosion so they are physical just be careful, there are a few moves like... 
this category, which is like an yin yang symbol, these moves, they are status moves. It's moves like bulk up, swords dance, synthesis, um, thunder wave, any single move that involves status. It can be poisoning or paralyzing the enemy, or it can give you a stats boost is gonna have that category. So that category doesn't it doesn't quite go as attack or a, a physical or special. It's a status condition. So the in game is a status. The three circles is special, and the explosion is physical. Make sure your meal has only explosion oh, explosion moves in the category. And you might want to have Swords Dance, because Swords Dance increases your uh, physical attack and go from there. So f that would be the best bet. See, my meal, when I got my meal, his special attack was higher. So I made him special. That's why I don't have Swords Dance on my meal. I have Nest Plot, because Nest Plot increases the special attack. That's how you know the best way to build your Pokemon. You always go on the base status first and check what is higher, attack or special attack. Make sure your moveset and your status condition makes sense. Now, I saw someone and that was one that actually pissed me the fuck out. There was someone when I doing my Mewtwo raids, the guy clearly had a physical attack meal because all his attacks were physical and he was running nest plot nest plot increases special attack you don't need to increase special attack if your pokemon knows physical attacks that's one important information even more because you like it to do raids it's really important that you know the difference between special and, and physical attacks and how to build your status Pokemon as well. Because if you have an attacker meal, why would you bring an S plot instead of Swords Dance? It makes absolutely no sense and no good for you. Unfortunately, we see this a lot. I actually saw someone using S plot in the Iron Hands, who is clearly a physical one. So let's let let's help you. Let's help you. Um, which Terra type is your meal? Because you wanna have a good coverage. So let's start knowing the Terra. Which Terra is your meal? And let me find Swords Dance here. That's Metronomy. Which number is for this? I don't think Swords Dance is considered what? Normal, right? Dragon, okay, Dragon Claw, perfect. So, Swords Dance, 
uh over yes i was gonna tell you it's it's actually not bad having a fighting move on him but the close combat it decreases your defense in two stages when you use close combat so you use once you're you in trouble you use twice you screwed so okay you have sword stance and you have dragon claw let's go for your next two movesets um you want to be sure that you have at least one psychic because mew is basic psychic so you have a stab you should use psych strike psych strike if you can buy it i don't remember you should be able to no uh he might be able to learn if he can learn psych strike which is usually mewtwo's move move great do it if he can't uh then you could go for psychic things which is good because it breaks barriers like light screen and reflect so psychic things he should be able to, to learn you could go for this one it's physical and it's psychic yeah so psychic things is good now what's good about side strike psych strike it shows as um special attack However, it hits on the defensive side, not the special defense. Which is important to know the difference. So yeah, I would go Psyche, uh, Psyche Fangs and... That's the only one that's gonna be odd, because it's uh, special, but I would run Shadow Ball. The only reason it's because you decrease special defense from your opponent because or you could teach shadow claw which gives you also a good coverage and it's physical that's a move set that I, I would do it my mew right now i need to change he's completely done in bug every single move and he has nest plot and three bug moves because I built him for Mewtwo. And that that's not only it, right? Anytime you decide, oh, it's dropping off a brand new raid like they did for the CDY, and say, I wanna use my Mew, you can always go and change the moveset to be good versus the Terra type you're gonna defeat. So while you do this, uh, I'm gonna take a quickly break. Please, guys, don't go anywhere. It's gonna be fast. I just need to refill my water, and I'll be right back.
Okay, I'm back. Um, actually, let me confirm. I think Shadow Ball decreases every time. Or there's a, uh, it might be there's a change. Shit, uh, change. Actually, let me see. Yeah, it, this may also lower the target's tar special defense. So yeah. Uh, it's not guaranteed that's gonna lower the special defense, but it has a chance. Uh, when it says like this, I believe it's 30% chance that it will decrease the defense. The sorry, the special defense. Wait, while this let me start to form a group. I just need to be online. Okay, Evis, uh, you wanna do completely attack, then you wanna do, and that's complicated. How how much is your HP right now? Because if your HP is good enough on the basis that I would go for half in defense the other half in special defense if not I would go half uh, HP the other half the lower of the two so if your SP death is lower than your defense do I on special defense so you wanna you wanna kind of match defense and special defense in, in you, you're never gonna be able to match in number, but you wanna give them as close as possible. So all right, let's let's give one more three five seven HP. That's freaking amazing. Uh, I wouldn't go for HP. Then what you could do is, for example, looking to my DC do I. My special defense is 243, my defense is 193. I would I would train the fuck up of the defense to try and get as close as possible to the 243 on the special defense. So you, you create pretty much a tank, right? If the Pokemon, because what happens is every time a Pokemon hits you with a special attack, the attack is gonna hit you on your special defense. If it's a physical attack, it hits on defense. So you wanna have a special defense and defense both in good numbers because then it doesn't matter how the your opponent's gonna hit you. It doesn't matter if it's a special. Oh okay, so speed F is 246 and defense is 252. That's gonna be a really annoying training that you can do and that you're gonna do. I would go a little bit of each until you cannot carry anymore. So let's say you go and you do speed death for up to let's say 260 and then do defense to 260 then go HP to 362. Then you go back special defense, oh sorry I hit my microphone. Then you go, then you start to do like a triangle. You go special defense, defense, attack, uh, HP. Special defense, defense, and HP. Or if you want, you can put a little bit on speed. Just so you can be faster than almost anyone in the field. How much is your speed now? So I know your attack is higher. Now I know HP, speed death, and defense. How much is your speed? Let, let's create a freaking monster here. While you, you give me this information, I'm gonna evolve my Hokaron. I, I forgot to do that. I have enough games to do it. Two five two. Okay, so yeah, just do a little bit. I would go 
260 in in speed death, 260 in defense, 370 in HP, everything else that you can put on speed. So you're gonna be bulk as fuck and you're gonna be the fastest on the field. Like, no one is gonna be faster than you. And that's actually a way to say uh, that's a lie. I, there might be a few Pokemon that it can get faster, but it's gonna be rare. Like, lots of Pokemon doesn't have that base speed. Your Mew is level 100, so level 100 to have more speed than you? Uh, I think Reverum base stat in speed is 210, so no, even Reverum is not going to be faster. Yeah, most likely the only Pokemons that would be faster than you are Pokemons that, ha that are invested in speed. Like, see, Miraiadon will be faster. Miraiadon is 320, and that's a fucking base stat. But, like, Luxray is pretty fast. How much, how faster is my Luxray? 173. And he's considered a fast Pokemon. Um... Uh... Okay, how to increase your EVs. Now that's gonna be fun. Uh, you need to use items. You can buy on Chinsy Supply or Delibird Gifts is one of the two. Oh, they are all my other game, not here. Okay, uh, let's go there. So let's go to Mizegoza. I thought I had all these items here, but I don't. I think it's on this Deadly Bird gift, but I could be wrong. Let me find first. Oh, it is, it is here. So, you wanna buy all these weights here, see? Power weight, power bracer, power belt, power lens, power band, power anklet. Now, be aware that all of them will decrease your speed. Uh, I don't like to use the feathers. I like to control the EVs that I'm going to train. You could use the feathers. Um, I like more doing this type of training. Because you actually see the stats growing. Now, for example, it tells on all of them. Power weight, it says on the description. An item to be held by Pokemon, holding these weights reduces the Pokemon speed in battle, but allows HP stats to grow more quickly. That is the EV. So every single one of them decreases the speed. Now, power weight increases HP. The power bracer increases the attack. The power belt increases defense. Power lens increases special attack, the power band increases speed death, and the power anklet increases the speed. Okay? So you use these ones to increase your stats. Now, there is one last point that you need to know. Uh, let me get here. Uh, a link that I'm gonna share to you. 
you have special Pokémons that you need to defeat when you're doing this. Oh, apparently the feathers do, do not work properly. Uh, they, you, yeah, I, on my original game, I bought one of each. Actually, I'm going to do the same here so I can do the training uh, as well later on. I always like to have one of each because I never know what I'm gonna train until I actually start training. Okay, uh, I just wanna see if I get a, a good area for you to do it. Because you wanna you you want to defeat the correct type of Pokemon. See, for example, HP. If you wanna train your HP. Uh, you go for Mario. So you want to defeat Mario. If you defeat 26 Marios, you get your HP to maximum EV, which is 252. Uh, you want to do attack. Let's get here attack to maximum. You know what? I'm going to give you a, a website. Uh, don't worry, man. Part of my streaming is helping people. Okay, so open this website that I sent to you. And the ideal way to do it, just go on and click on which individual EV you want to train. So when you click on attack, it's going to load a new screen for you. Uh, just place current IVs zero. Your target is gonna be 252, which is the maximum. You're gonna equip power uh, power bracer, and it's gonna have a drop down list on all the Pokemons that are possible that you defeat and how many EVs they give to you. Then um, let me just see how. It goes if you go for example here Flamigo which gives two uh, all you need to do is keep clicking knock out every time you defeat one on the website just click knock out and it's gonna tell how many EVs you currently have once you get to maximum or at least near maximum you say oh I want to stop for example if you defeat um, 25 that is 250 EVs. Do you really need to defeat one more for just getting to 252? Well, you might use these other two in something else like the speed death or your speed. So this website is going to be really good for you. I actually, I had this one before, but I forgot to save. I'm going to save on mine because I don't know by head which Pokemons I need to defeat to train EVs. And that's actually really good information. Now, do you wanna also shine hunting or you're good? Because if, if you don't wanna shine hunting right now, that's okay. I'll just look for 
what I'm gonna shine hunt. You know, I, I, I'm gonna say one thing that it was stupid from me. I could easily have done a dragon type sandwich. Went to the forest on the tree that has the appling and keep shiny hunting appling because then for appling I don't need to even touch the controller and I could be doing all this lesson while shiny hunting. <laughs> that would be very smart. I just thought about this right now. And yes, I have a Shell Bell on every single one of my Pokemons. No, so on the drop down list is which one you're gonna kill to train yours. So if you have your, if you're gonna train your Mew, it's okay. You don't need to tell on the website that's a Mew. Uh, if you're gonna defeat Flamigos, for example, then you select Flamigos. Uh, what the site is asking you to give them is which Pokemon you're gonna defeat. Talk about rich. <laughs> oh yeah, so you say train own. Yeah, sorry. Uh, there was a freaking heart from the from the YouTube right in front of the word own. So I only saw like the way that uh, if you're asking to choose the way you the one you're training, not the one you're training on. There was a heart right in front, so I didn't read the own. Sorry about that. That's why I explained poorly. But yeah, so it's what you're training on. If you're if you're using Flamigo, you choose Flamigo. If you use Mario, you choose Mario. That's how the drop down menu works. So I'm assuming you won't shine hunt right now. You're gonna train your EVs. Which means I need to find what I'm gonna shine hunt on this game. Hmm. I honestly thought about shine hunting the Oh you know what? Let's do coffee. There is a, a coffee outbreak that I can do. We have one hour and 15 minutes to find the coffin. Oh, okay. You want to shine hunt with me? Okay, that, that's better. Uh, I like when we shine hunt together. It, it pretty much becomes a, a race on who's going to find more shinies. You already have a problem because I started with two. I'm not, I cannot consider the two if you want. That's fine. That's my shines today, but for us, uh, we're both starting zero. <laughs> I would be good with it. Okay, right, there's the code MX02MH. Now let's see what you're thinking about shiny hunting. What is your plane? From Monday, we will see. <laughs> Monday, you fucked me over. I barely got to five. I got to five shinies on the last minute of stream. I was my whole stream with three. You got seven. It was crazy. Uh, which one? Appling? Appling, coughing, which which one I talk I talked about so many different Pokemons. Uh I can shine hunt any type. Whatever you want to go for, I can find something. Coughing, yeah, uh, for the coughing, I wouldn't use the sandwich right now because I have an outbreak. 
The only time I use it sandwiches with outbreak is encounter level 2. So I don't need to use any spice herbs. That's okay. Coughing is gen 1, man. That's fine. Nobody cares about coughing. <laughs> coughing doesn't even have a great shiny. I was gonna do coughing solely so I wouldn't spend herbs. And I'm being really honest because I thought you're not gonna do shiny hunting right now. I thought you're gonna do EV training. And I was like, ah, uh, I don't wanna spend other two herbs. So I could go on the outbreak. But I'd rather shine hunt with the sandwich. It's a lot better. It's more fun for every everyone here. Now, what are we shine hunting is the question. Rock roof? You know what? Let's both do rock roof. I have one rock roof shiny on my violet copy. I never got the second, so I don't have his evolution. Let's go. Let, let's literally shine race for rock roof now. Uh, for rock roof, which herb can you bring? Because I have so many spices. I can bring the spicy if you can bring anything else but salty. Don't don't use your salt on this type of sandwich. Just bring any other herb and the tomato. Sounds good. Just bring then one tomato, one bitter. I'll bring my one spicy and everything else. Uh, so I need one onion, one green pepper and two bacon. Because we're going for a rock type. Tomato is on you. I need this. This and bacon. One spicy. Oh, fuck, look the size of this bacon. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Bro. They call bacon. It looks like the spank that comes on, on Kang, like that fucking tall. Jesus. I think I never did a uh, rock type sandwich. I didn't know the bacon was that big. There we go. Encounter and power bait. Oh shit. Encounter and Sparkling power level 3 for rock types. Now the good part is, if you don't know where to find rock roof, you're just gonna follow me. <laughs> you're gonna see exactly the area I'm gonna look for. Okay, I like to look for rock roof. And oh shit! I have an outbreak. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. Uh, that's gonna be interesting. I did not know I have an outbreak of rock roof. 
I might not even need to gather, but I might need to. Let's see. Because my first rock roof I found on this area. <laughs> nice. That's funny, you have the exactly same outbreak. Uh, and that's why you wanted Rock Roof, right? Ah, uh, you're gonna use the Outbreak strategy with me. I see. That's how you wanna win the Shiny Race? Where? It says I found it. Oh, right here. Okay, let's kill here. One, two... Three... Four... Oh, you know what might happen? You were seeing the outbreak that was on mine. Alright, that's okay. I'm gonna help you anyways. You still wanna fly to... Uh... Yeah, you still wanna fly to this point And look on this area here. So this area near this Pokestop is where I found my original shiny rock roof. Or you can run down, run over this area. Uh, rock roof shows up all on this area on the map where you go for the Bombardier that it was a Titan. I could bring you back, so you would see. The only problem is, when the shiny shows up, the faster person catches. Because the, the Pokemons are acro across both games. So for example, if a shiny shows up, only one of us can catch. Which could be interesting. Seriously? What the fuck? How? How you are at God yours? I just did half of the outbreak. Bro! 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 Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> you are welcome. Enjoy your good luck. Enjoy the fact that I don't charge for the good luck. You might encounter a second one to evolve before I encounter my first. If I count properly, that was 60. 4. I always go a little bit above, so I think that was 64. Come on, man! <laughs> I told you, you're gonna get the second one before I find my first. I fucking knew it. I'm not even surprised. Well, time for you to look for another rock-type Pokemon that you don't have. <laughs> See, I didn't even need to reset my shinies. Uh, you already got the same number as me, Jesus. What is that shiny race going? Uh, if you don't have Neckly yet, just go for Neckly. You know what? You can go on this area here. This area you can find Neckly and Cloth. Cloth Shine is a nice blue as well. It's similar blue the of Rock Rough. And Neckly, you need to keep an eye on the salt on the top of the head. Instead of white, it's gonna be brown. There we go! I got mine too! No! Get away from me!
Honestly, dive ball would look, would look great, but I'm not gonna risk. Okay. Oh, I didn't even change my hunting now. Jesus. I have a problem. I don't know which other rock type I could go for. Uh, Roly Coly, yes. I don't have shiny Roly Coly yet. I don't. I don't think I have. I don't think I have the gift for Roly Coly. Okay, let me let me find here for just give me one second. Okay, I think this one has a background, so it's not gonna look that great. But it's what I could find right now. Oh, it doesn't have a background. Ooh. On the page that I saved it from, it looked like it had like a white background. I'm glad it didn't. So let's get back. To the shine hunting. Let's go for Rodicoli. All the way to the right side. Uh, it was here, right? I think what confused me is... Oh, you already got Nackley? Jesus, this string just went sandwich. Calm the fuck down. I'm so very happy for you, man. Jesus. Can you get a fourth one? I I almost begging you to get one more before the sandwich is over. Okay, I don't know how Braveling Shine looks like, so... Oh, that might have been a mistake. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to see that shiny color that it is. Avatar would be nice. Okay, there there are options here. I see options. I just want to be sure that this guy is not. No, it's not.
Dallas, you need to stop bribing the shinies to keep showing on your game and not on mine, okay? It needs to be fair! See, the same things... Subscribe to my channel and get more shinies never made so much sense like today. No! <laughs> Leave me alone! I want a shine of you! Not a normal? You just annoyed me. Uh, at least the the roly coli mostly shows up in groups, so it's probably gonna be easy to see the shine amongst the others. Oh, for God's sakes. Only one more necklace and you got and you get the full line from necklace as well. Bro, that's four fucking shinies in one sandwich. If you get one more, you pass my record. My record's four in one sandwich as well. Never, never got five in just one sandwich. And you probably, uh, well, you probably have a little bit less time than me because I stopped to find the um, the gift to put on the string. So you should have somewhere between nine and ten minutes left. There is enough time to get one more. You are winning the race.
Okay, seven minutes left and just one shiny. Come on, at least a second one, right? I'm not, I'm not asking for too much. Dallas got four. I'm just asking for one more. Five minutes left, chat, five minutes. I'm not sure how Larvitar shine looks like. Brighter green, okay. Uh, I should be able to see them. Do you know if his belly change colors or is still red? So I think his his belly also changed a little bit. It might not be as much as I'm wondering, but I think it does. I know Tyranitar changed the color on the belly. Purplish, pinkish, yeah. Because I remember Tyranitar changes and it's same idea. It's like a kind of a velvet or a dark red in the original. And it becomes slightly clear. It's hard to see the difference, like it's not much more clear, but I remember it had a small difference. I couldn't remember on, Liv on Larvitar though, I only remember seeing on Tyranitar. Ooh, 
Which makes sense, because Puptar Shiny is purple. No, only two minutes left. Okay, now let's start to think what do we want to shine hunt next. So we already go prepare for the sandwich because, jeez, you are already winning. That's fantastic. So you, you already have four shines today. You played for half an hour. I've been live for almost three hours and I got three shinies. Pretty much one shiny per hour. Sheesh! Yep, sandwich time is over. Okay, Dallas, here is your code 11R492. Okay, what are we going for now? What type at least? We could we could start the same way going for the same Shinx or Heracross. Ooh. You know what? I like both ideas. Uh Shinx it's the same problem when I did when I went there. We I was seeing a good amount of Palmy, but I would be down for Shinx. He only shows up in own location, anyways. I I'm down for any of them. Just choose. Do you want electric type or do you want? Oh, you know what? I don't have more yellow pepper. So if you want electric, I just need to go very quickly buy more, or we just do bug. 
Because I don't have more yellow pepper. I used the last two that I had when I was shiny hunting my rip. I could do bug, so we go for Heracross. There's so many bugs that I don't have. Unless, if you have the yellow pepper, we need two. And then I'll bring the tomato this time. Bug works? Okay. So, bring any herb besides the spicy. And the tomato. Oh no, I do have two yellow. Oh fuck. You know, let's go for Shinx. Because I know you want Shinx more. Oh... On Monday, we already started Shinx. I know how much you want to go for Shinx. Le let's do Shinx. Uh, let me change here before... Before we start the sandwich, I'm going to put Shinx here. Okay. Let's go for Shinx. I, I know that's the one you want more. You, you already wanted on Monday. Uh, okay. On your... I white oh okay i saw two red uh yes you can bring the spice that's fine so i saw the red belt too and i thought it was the yellow so i thought i used it both uh-huh so you bring the tomato all right you're bringing spicy that means i'm bringing bitter Okay, okay. Let's see if it worked. Yes, sir. Good. Okay, good luck, man. You're gonna find three shinks in 10 minutes. And one Pikachu. That, that's, that's what I think you're gonna do. You're gonna find three shinks and one Pikachu. I don't know why I uh, just said Pikachu, but yeah. On the area that we're gonna hunt for Shinx, I never even saw Pikachu there, but sure. I wanna say you're gonna find one. Uh, I don't remember which part was the best one. Let me go here. Okay, yeah, that's the area that I like it. There's a cloth just cheating here, like, yeah, I'm here.
I think this cloth is just static, it keeps showing up all the time, so just kill him very quickly. Holy fuck, look at all these shinks here. And I didn't even see this before. Oh no. What are the chances that I missed the shine the last time? Oh shit. Bro. Big chances that I, I might have missed the shine then. By the way, these three cloths that are here, these are static. These I know for sure. So I, I need to kill them because they're going to be showing up every time. I need to open the rules for the Shinx. Okay, there we go.
Yeah, sir. Almost 10 minutes in. So quiet right now. <laughs> I have a feeling that Davos didn't find any Shinx yet. Sixteen minutes left. Mm. 
Oh, you got one? Fuck! You didn't even celebrate this time. Bro! I got zero. Zero. <laughs> your your luck is shitty. You got five shines today already. What is my luck then? If if yours is shitty, what's mine? I think it's better not to think about it. Oh, and it's raining now. Yay!
Ah, you got two? Nice! Nice! I was allowed to get at least one. So you have six shines for today, right? And I'm here stuck on three yet. GG man, yeah, that this race for you, GG. You know, I'm surprised that I didn't even see a palm shiny. I don't want it because I don't need it. But I'm surprised that there, there was no shiny at all for 25 minutes. Oh, there you go, a shiny palmy that I don't need. You know what? I'm gonna catch anyways. Because I'm gonna include on the total shines for today. But like the Mimikyu, if I don't find anything else that I need, like if I don't find the Shinx, I will just reset the game. It will still be counted for the shines today because we caught and got it anyways. But I'm not gonna waste Herba for Palmy actually. I have. I caught five shiny Palmies in total. Because when I was shiny hunting for. 
Iron Hands and Sand Shocks, like, and I think Iron Thorns as well. On all of these ones, I got Shine Palmy. Like, every single one of these sandwiches. Yeah, 30 seconds, not gonna happen. Yeah, no, there's no way I'm gonna spend one herb before I fall me. Still, it's good to place here what it was, right? Um,
Holy shit, this guy's big. Okay. Jinx Outbreak. Interesting. Glacial Outbreak. Oh, very interesting. I could go for... Wait a minute. Oh, I love this shiny. I have this. I don't have this. Oh, Zangus would be a, such a cool shine to go for. <sighs> hoot hoot. Greetings. Yeah, not much going on in this one. Honestly. I'm honestly almost thinking about going to sleep. <laughs> I was shy. I, I was looking now for the Shinx and my eyes are getting heavy. Like I said on the beginning of the stream, it's been a rough week on the work. And honestly, I want to be well rested for Friday. Because it's the release of... Spider-Man Chia, so I want to be sure that I will be okay for that stream. You know what, guys? I know it's a shorter stream, finishing just after, well, almost three and a half hours, so it's just midnight. But I'm I'm honestly really, really tired. I, I thought about not streaming today, but I couldn't stream tomorrow. Uh, that comes with a uh, good news for you, everyone. I'm actually getting my game tomorrow evening, uh, close to midnight. So GameStop will be doing a midnight release. I will be getting my game close to midnight tomorrow, and I'm gonna red install on my PlayStation and let do all the updates. So it's gonna be ready for our streaming on Friday. Yeah, sorry guys for leaving. A little bit earlier today but uh, I don't know like I said on, on Friday I don't want to be streaming with oh I need to stop streaming at this time I, I don't want to do it I'm bringing a brand new game on the release date I'm probably gonna stream to 2 maybe 3 a.m. I don't know yet but over midnight over 1 a.m. that's for sure so yeah I gotta take a good rest today and tomorrow so I can do a better stream on Friday. Thank you. No, thank you, man, for being here. As usual, you're always here. You always participate. That's fantastic. I did prepare a background for Friday. I hope you're going to enjoy it. That's all I'm going to say. I'm not going to show yet, but I hope you're going to enjoy the background I prepared for Friday. So yeah, uh, thanks again, and thanks for being here. You guys have a fantastic evening, everyone. Enjoy the rest of your night. Sleep well, sleep tight, everyone. Rest, because Friday, let's see until what time you're gonna be here, okay? And I hope I see you all on Friday at 8.30 p.m. for the release of Spider-Man 2 for PS5. From me, for today, it's peace out.